What's up, people? This is the Layer 2 Floor 1 Introduction How-To Video that you guys have been asking for. So we're going to talk about how to get Heretic Sutra, how to turn on the generator, how to navigate yourself through Layer 2 Floor 1, how to get the Union Hook, and how to get the Chaser. So first off, this is Claris. She is in the Castle of Light. She gives you what's called the Light Hook. So once you have the light hook, you get to go to layer two, which we're about to do right now, like this. And you get 20 minutes, 20 minutes <laughs> to run through layer two. And if you die or wipe during that time, you don't wipe. You basically just get to come back to castle light, which is amazing. So you can practice as much as you want. The light hook resets every five minutes. So you have 20 minutes to explore. If you die, you go back to Castle Light, or you can just choose to use the Light Hook. It's an item in your inventory. I'm gonna put it down here. So an item in your inventory that you can just click on and it'll teleport you right back to Castle Light. So you can explore as much as you want without the worry of wiping, which is amazing. So now that we are in layer two, let's go ahead and figure out where to go. So first things first, you wanna run up here. This sloped area is where you wanna go first. We have to get a key that's going to open a door. So you're going to go ahead and climb up this mountain, like so. And then you're going to just jump across here. And then there's going to be a little cabin on the right. You're going to go over this crack cabin and you're going to grab a key. This is the key right here. Pick it up. Now don't go inside this tent. If you do, you will be attacked by dangerous enemies. So don't do that. Don't do that. Instead, go back the way we came. We're going to just fall down, and now we're going to run the opposite direction. If you've never been to Layer 2, there will be a character here, an NPC you can talk to. If you go to their prompts and at the end you choose Option 2, when you see an Option 2, choose Option 2, but you don't have time right now, it'll give you two free knowledge. So that's just a quick tip. Now you're going to turn around to the right here, and you're going to go to this door. And this is the door that the key is needed for. So the rest of this video, I'm gonna start at this door. So every time I'm gonna explain how to do something, we're gonna start at this door. So the first thing we're gonna do is get Heretic Sutra. If you've never got Heretic Sutra, it's really easy to get. You do have to have 80 willpower and you have to have gone insane before you can get Heretic Sutra, all right? Now, if you don't know how to go insane, you can ask me and I can tell you in a different video. But as long as you've gone insane and you have 80 willpower, as soon as you enter right here, you're just gonna go to the right. And then you're gonna fall down. This is the easiest thing to get ever. She's so gonna fall down here. Just fall down all the way. And then just circle around to the right of this mountain. And you're gonna talk to this NPC right here. And he will give you Heretic Sutra talent. Now we're gonna light hook out and start over. So here's me using the light hook. Boom, we're out. And even if they had killed us, we would have been fine because we had the light hook. So that is step one in layer two, how to get a heretic sutra. Now we're gonna learn how to turn on the generator and where to go to find chaser. All right, so let's move along. All right, we are back at the door. I'm gonna show you now how to turn on the generator and how to get the union hook. The union hook is the item that allows you to use the grappling hooks you find all around the map. So let's go ahead and get started. So one thing you need to know about layer two is there's always wind blowing and there's things called parasites that will try to kill you. <laughs> so besides enemies. So the wind is blowing whenever you feel the wind blowing you. If you stop moving for a second, you'll see it being pushed a certain direction. As you walk, just move forward and push a little bit towards the wind and that way you don't get blown off. Second are parasites. Parasites just slowly attach themselves to you as long as you're in layer two area, this layer two floor one. You'll need to find lanterns around the map to remove the parasites or they'll eventually kill you. So we're gonna move forward and I'll show you what I mean as we go. So here's the wind. If you see I stopped moving, it's pushing me to the left. So I'm gonna walk forward and go to the right. And then as soon as the wind stops blowing, you wanna run as fast as you can. We're just gonna go straight down this hallway right here, first of all. Wind is blowing again and we're good. Now, first thing you wanna do is jump across to that pillar and jump over there to that ladder. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jump across and then we're gonna jump across to the ladder and now we're gonna go up and we're gonna go up this ladder right here. All right, now we're gonna jump across this. You wanna be careful that the wind doesn't knock you, start blowing while you're trying to jump across. So just wait for the wind to end. And once the wind ends, we're gonna jump across. 
All right, so we're gonna jump across this. <clears throat> then we're gonna slide down, okay? And now there's a bunch of ways to go here. <clears throat> you don't need to worry about the first one, just the second one and the third one. The third one, this one straight ahead is where you wanna go first. This is where you're gonna find the bone keeper as well as turn on the generator. You do have to be the bone keeper to turn on the generator. I'll talk about how to be the bone keeper on another video, but we're just gonna be the bone keeper and we're gonna turn on the generator. There's gonna be some spikes to fall down. So just let them fall down, no big deal. And now on this bridge is where the bone keeper's at. So once you get to the end of the bridge, he's gonna spawn either on top of you or back at the beginning of the bridge. So we're gonna have to beat him real quick before we can turn on the generator. Okay. Genius. Oh, you're supposed to roll that. I did not roll it. So I'm just skill checking it right now because this build is basically meant for that. So easy enough. All right, not skill checking, stat checking him. Anyways, once you beat him, you're going to go through this door right here. You're going to see an NPC. We're not going to worry about that guy. You're going to go to the door on the right. You're going to come up these little stairs. These Gelwaxes right here, you can harvest these. If you get three of them, you can attach three to a regular leather boots, and you can make some boots that will allow you to not get pushed by the wind. Just FYI. So you're going to follow this little corner around here like this. And you're going to go up, go up, go up, go all the way up. And then here's the generator. You need to turn this on every time you come to layer two if you're going to try to go to chaser. So you're going to turn it on. And you also need this for the union hook. So basically, after you turn on the generator, you're just going to follow this wire right here. And you're going to drop down, and it takes you right back to that cavern where that NPC was at. Boom. And then we're going to go back out just the way we came. So this is the way we... here, Right here is where we fought the Bone Keeper, right? So we're running past this. Running past this. Da -da 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 -da. Here's where the spikes fell. And then you take an immediate left. And we are almost back at where the three paths are. Here are the three paths. Now, if you want to go to Chaser, you're going to take that path right there. Right now, I'm going to show you how to get the Union Hook. So we're going to go back up the original path we came across, right? So here's the Bone Keeper. All you're going to do is just run straight. Straight back up the way we came. Once we get to the top here, I'll show you we're going to fall down. All right, so once you get right here, you're just going to fall all the way down. It looks like you're going to die, but you're not going to die. So just fall all the way down. Okay? And then once you fall down, right here is where the union hook is. This won't be open unless you turn on the generator. So make sure to turn on the generator, and then this door will be open. And you come in here. This is the same place to get the new origin. And basically, you're going to go talk to Alpha. Now, I want to make a point real quick. You see how these little snowballs on my body? Those are the parasites. And I'm going to show you. As you can see right there in front of me, there's a yellow lantern. I'm going to click on that, and all the parasites are going to fall off. Ready? See? Now they're all on the ground. So you want to make sure you remove the parasites every once in a while, or they will kill you. Now, here is Alpha. This guy's going to give you the talent you want to use the grappling hook. Just hit one, and then you get the union hook, and that's it. So this is the same guy you talked to for the new origin also. But I just got the union hook. I'll put it on the screen so you can see it. All right. We're going to start over again. And now we're going to show you how to get the chaser. Uh, let's go. Well, what's up, guys? I decided to make this a two-part series. So I'm going to stop right there. And then I'm going to post another video on how to get the chaser. I do want to make one point before I go. If you light hook out, you lose anything you get in treasure chests. So any stuff you get in your inventory is pretty much gone. You do keep things that drop from monsters. So if you're looking for bounder claws and you get those, you will keep the bounder claws. Um, but just anything else, like the gal wax, I didn't keep that. Anything you harvest, anything you get from treasure chests, you won't keep those items if you light hook out. You have to be chaser to keep the items that you get along the way other than monster items. All right, peace and love. See you for part two. Bye.